Hello everyone, welcome to another session for Know Your Exam series from Shomus Biology. And in this all session of videos, we are going to talk about different exams which are important for your career. And we are talking about the exams date and obviously other important information regarding the exam with the exam pattern. As well as at the end, I always provide exam preparation tips. So stay tuned and watch the video. <laughs> So let's talk about the BHU entrance exam. This is one of the very important entrance exam uh, for a lot of uh, interdisciplines of the life sciences and actually not only life sciences for many other exams. So let's look at BHU exam and why it is important and how to prepare for BHU exam. The BHU entrance exam is uh, conducted by Banaras Hindu University or BHU which is one of the most important and prestigious universities in India and it's ranked among the top universities of the India. It, it conducts this uh, exam and uh, the, the beauty about BHU exam is that it offers courses after this examination you'll be able to attain courses in Bachelor of Science or in Master of Science and of course for special courses in medicine, Ayurveda, science, dental science, bioinformatics and agriculture. So a lot of uh, things are out there. It, this is only a wing of life sciences that I only told. Uh, there are also other wings of uh, other sciences, physical sciences like uh, arts and commerce and all these things. But here this video is mostly about the students that are going from the life science background to, to attain the BHU entrance exam. Uh, for making into the field of medicine, Ayurveda, science, dental science, bioinformatics and all these things. So this is one exam that may allow you to go and choose all of this different variety of subjects. That's why uh, BHU entrance examination is that famous and it's that much important. It is usually conducted uh, in April to May for the undergraduate courses. For the admission to postgraduate courses it uh, actually conducted in May okay so normally it's from the February the notification start to begin February March April May so actually the exam will be conducted between April and May the eligibility criteria in this case there are two separate courses we are talking about UG courses and PG courses for UG courses uh, for example BSc honors and agricultural uh, sciences minimum of 50% marks in physics chemistry and biology or geology geography these are required for postgraduate courses you need approximately 50 percent marks in bsc honors that is in graduation so the eligibility criteria is fairly simple and easy most of the students easily pass that criteria so it's a good news that all of like most of the students can appear for this exam easily the exam structure says like in UG or undergraduate courses there will be total 450 marks that is 150 questions in one paper and uh, the three marks for each question so it gives you 450 marks and the time duration is two hours so it's even difficult to answer 150 questions in two hours sometimes like this 150 minutes or two and a half hours but for the BSc courses mostly it is two hours and 450 marks so 150 question you need to answer Although the questions are uh, of three marks, but they are sim single questions, short questions. It's not that difficult and lengthier questions. Okay. And for the postgraduate courses, uh, for the admission, there will be 120 MCQ and a total of 360 marks. And again, the time is 120 minutes or two hours. Okay. So the trick part about this BHU entrance is to answer all the question in time and to get a good mark from it. Marking scheme. Marking scheme as I told you like there are 150 questions, 3 marks for each question so total 450 marks uh, for a, a UG course, for a PG 120 questions, 3 marks each question so 360 marks. Uh, and obviously uh, there are uh, negative marking there and the negative marking is 1 so uh, with a negative marking uh, for, for a negative marking 1 marks will be, 1 mark will be debited. So that's always a true thing. So one third is the uh, negative marking. Here. The cutoff uh, is generally prepared based on merit. So there are three things considered here. Actually, uh, 
two things in the very first place one is the academic qualification that is your if you are applying for UG courses they will check your qualification till plus two if you are applying for PG courses or postgraduate courses they will check your academic qualification till graduation and uh, good academic skills are required for this this to continue so they will take the accumulation of all the marks uh, from your uh, 10 to plus 2 through graduation as well as they will take uh, the marks that you secure in the exam that is BHU entrance exam then they will uh, cumulatively have some ratio and formula to calculate the total marks out there number of seats in UG courses there are a huge number of seats because you know it's a multidiscipline uh, that different subjects are out there where you can uh, go after qualifying this exam uh, so actually in UG and there is a huge number total three over 300 uh, seats are there for both male and female and especially for female there is 150 above seats are there known as a Mahila Mahavidyalaya okay on the other hand for PG the courses for life sciences I can divide them like uh, zoology and botany of 50 students biochemistry and bioinformatics approximately 20 to 25 uh, special courses environmental sciences like 30 applied microbiology approximately 30 forensic sciences approximately 30 so this is the limit it, this is the limit that they uh, actually disclose in the website but actually the real value may change like plus minus five students it's it's always a possibility depending upon how the students are performing in the exam uh, that they uh, they choose quality of the exam is what we can say is average it's not very difficult although most many many students believe it's a very difficult exam it's actually not uh, because uh, this exam uh, is only one part for the basis of selection actual selection will be based on the merit list prepared from the score of the exam as well as uh, your academic records so you have two separate parts to 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 be uh, joining to BHU now the thing is you know they will ask you again from the basics of your understanding from the basic of your knowledge so if you're applying for UG courses you need to have a very strong understanding of plus two level uh, science and if you are applying for postgraduate you need to have a basic understanding of graduation actually they, they don't have any separate syllabus for that you can go for uh, like your graduation syllabus if you're applying for uh, for example if you're applying for applied microbiology you should always prepare all the microbiology process very well and that's the reason you need to study a lot of concrete books to understand the microbiology subject so I'm just taking it as an example and the subject that you can go the books that you should follow here is Prescott microbiology you should follow some food microbiology book Brock biology of microorganisms and as well as some bioprocessing books so those are the things that you need to read along with your general you know, graduation courses so that you can apply the knowledge because the question will be based on that applied field of microbiology so it's industrial microbiology uh, the development of food and all those things that's where the questions will be asked most of the time exam fees is uh, fairly moderate for UG courses is 500 uh, and for PG courses uh, is also 500 but uh, the difference is if someone is applying for only one subject uh, this value of 500 will be applicable if someone is applying more than one subject uh, for the exam then the fees will be 200 for general candidate and 100 for SCST OBC candidates if I want to share some tips with you regarding the BHU exam I already told you that you need to prepare a basics better concrete way so if you are applying for forensic sciences you need to have a little understanding of that reading the basics of forensic sciences from some place or if you are applying for a microbiology then read some good microbiology books and apply for that but the questions are not that tricky or not that difficult those questions although the question will not be very flat or linear but the question will not be that much of difficulties so you can answer this question so don't think like three marks question mean huge questions lengthy questions no the question will be shorter mcq based questions but a little bit application based that's why application type things uh, are very important to read another most important thing here is you should prepare your uh, time management skills because you know you need to answer a lot of questions within a very short stretch of time that is the most important part regarding the BHU entrance exam and, uh, as I told you earlier that the difficulty of this exam is moderate and average but it's getting higher and higher day by day because more and more people are aware of this exam and they're trying to attend this exam because of the world-class facilities that you will get uh, in BHU they will they will uh, give you a good platform and uh, uh, nourishment that will help you to thrive in the next uh, upcoming career of your life. 
uh, while you are preparing for this exam and actually while you are attending this exam keep one thing in your mind that not many people are very much familiar with this exam every time so they probably haven't prepared well with the question papers so it's always a prescribed idea that you should go and find BHU question paper and start answering those question paper to check uh, what kind of question that they ask from which regions they are asking question which angle they are asking question you know no matter whatever exam it is you need to know what kind of questions that they ask right because you cannot you can never predict what kind of question it will be asked unless you see a question paper and believe me the question that they ask is from similar topics so if you know which topics from where the question are asked in the earlier time it will be a lot easier for you to prepare but during the exam you remember that this is 350 marks and in two hours not most of the people is habituated with this kind of exam so if you prepared well in your house if you prepared with your mock tests to to manage time well the only thing you need to do is simply not get much negative marking because you know if you score 50 percent you will have a strong competitor to to qualify this exam because you know like in 350 or in actually if you are applying for MSc or postgraduated courses it will be like 360 marks so if you score 200 or more than 200 that will seal your spot uh, for the for the interview session or for the next round uh, of, of joining BHU uh, with your desired field and actually if you score uh, 250 and more than 250 you probably will get hostel facilities because you know not all the people will get hostel facilities after qualifying the exam you know they will give hostels to only those people who qualified with good ranks with the merit list so first people of the merit list will be given the hostels first and hostel facilities obviously charge less so that will be an added advantage if you're looking to have a hostel facility in bhu obviously you should uh, score good so in that case i'll tell you like more than 220 250 is enough to have a hostel facility so while you're answering the question you know you need to correctly answer among 150 questions you need to correctly answer only 100 questions so there are 50 questions you you may not answer but the thing is you know most of the people make mistake of answering most of the question they attend 140 question 145 questions they think that the more the more question that they attend the chance is increasing but actually it's it's, it's negative marking that will drag you down every time you, you're scoring more and more questions so keep in your mind the actual footprint for this exam and as you know the footprint you know that if you answer the questions uh, like 100 questions or 110 questions you most probably get a best rank in that exam over there so if you like this video please hit the like button share this video with your friends and subscribe to my channel to get more and more self-help education videos like that and obviously share this video as much as you can to the social network so that other people know about the exam before taking it thank you